One of the most anticipated things when it comes to Starfield modding is Star Wars mods in all sorts of shapes and sizes. The number one request that I see on this channel showcasing different mods and in the Starfield modding Discord and on the official Starfield modding Reddit is people want nothing but Star Wars mods, which is perfectly understandable. With a game like Starfield, this is a really, really cool and interesting possibility and one that is currently in the process of being made. And a mod that was just recently released is the first phase of converting every major city in the game into a Star Wars themed habitational planet. There are so many new Star Wars mods coming out for Starfield every single day, so if you want to see my mod showcases of all the Star Wars mods in Starfield, make sure to subscribe, like this video, and leave a comment down below what kind of Star Wars mods you want to see in Starfield next. Now, let's get right into it. As I alluded to earlier, one of the major components in a total conversion mod for Starfield turning into Star Wars is going to be a mod that converts all the major cities in the world into places that truly feel like a Star Wars city. And this mod plans on doing exactly that with Star Wars City Editions by Crafty Gamer. This mod currently is only available on Nexus mods and has not been ported over to the creations menu for PC or Xbox yet as it is only in its first iteration right now, only adding a few assets and decorations to specifically the spaceports of both New Atlantis and Aquila City. The mod author has stated that this mod simply adds many Star Wars ship decorations to Aquila City and New Atlantis with many more decorations to come to the cities in the future. This first implementation was the mod author experimenting with the new features in the creation kit and he plans on adding more things as time goes on. Which makes perfect sense, as I said earlier, the creation kit has allowed these mod authors to go in and convert so many things into Star Wars themes. Basically, their imagination is their limit now that the creation kit is out. And for this first implementation, just merely a week after the creation kit even released, is pretty darn cool. The themes that he decided to go with each city kind of fits in with the Starfield lore as well as the United Colonies he has converted to the Empire and Aquila City with the Free Star Rangers turning into the Rebel Alliance. Having all these random ships, vehicles, other Star Wars items laying around the spaceports really makes it feel just that much closer to the Star Wars universe. As a mod like this keeps getting updated and more Star Wars mods come out to convert your ships and the characters and the planets themselves, all of these combined are gonna make a pretty cool combination to convert your entire Starfield game into Star Wars. And for you prequel fans out there, the mod author currently doesn't have any plans to do a Clone Wars era theme for the cities yet, as he doesn't have any Clone Wars era ship models ready. So he was gonna focus on finishing the original trilogy theme with the Empire and the Rebellion before he moves on to other eras. So as this mod goes on, I cannot wait to see what this mod author comes up with in terms of decorating the spaceports of all the other cities and then continuing to go into the cities from there. I think it's just gonna be that much more impressive to have all these things making your Starfield a much more immersive Star Wars experience. And this is going to lead to even more things like a UC Vigilance being converted into a Star Destroyer or turning a moon into the Death Star or things like that. I think the future for Starfield modding when it comes to Star Wars is especially bright and this mod is a great first step towards that. And like I said earlier, if you love Star Wars and you love Starfield and you love Starfield modding, please leave a like on this video, subscribe, and leave a comment down below of what you think of this mod and what mods you want to see next. Thank you guys.